Hello people uh, er, who are watching this on YouTube and generic me who this will be a response video to your episode 158 the good guy minecraft episode <clears throat> sorry or you asked if anybody could help you make a better version not better, but like, like a clock to your, I can't think of it right now, uh, armor placement thing. And so, what I've made with this neat little staircase is just that. Each one of these dispensers has a leather tunic in it, or like, uh, leather armor piece. Top one has a bow. The bottom one, sorry for the lag, has ten arrows in it. So, do is you walk up, and you have to stand here for a while for the arrows to fill up. And then once you have the amount of arrows that you want, you just step off. As you can see, I have all of the armor that was in these dispensers. And so, yeah, to refill it, what you have to do is you have to click on the pixel that the pressure plate isn't over, and then put in the arrows in there, put your bow in the dropper, or at in the top, and then... Put your armor that you want to be, the, to be dispensed into these four dispensers here on the sides. And yeah, I'll show you how it works. If I can fly. There we go. Okay. So, how this works is... I need this. The pressure plate is put on this dropper that is facing upwards. You can see it right there. And then that triggers this redstone that goes up this redstone line. These redstone power these blocks, or the blocks underneath them, which then powers these two dispensers. And then on this side, it does the same thing. But the redstone goes up on top of the dispensers, so it can power the top one. And then, also what it does is, uh, it sends a redstone signal this way, that turns off this torch, which makes this piston go up. I'll explain why it does that in a second. And then the redstone comes across that to his repeater that's on one delay. And then it comes over and it powers this redstone torch on for a second. Meanwhile, while that's ha oops, while that's happening, this with the same beginning pressure plate activates this. Um, redstone repeater turning this redstone torch back off causing a monostable circuit and then the redstone torch powers this line the piston is up so then the clock or and there's a, gosh and there's a clock right there so it gets power to and it goes through this repeater and then powers this block. It goes through the block, this piston will be retracted, or, or will retract. And atop this block, you can't see it, but there's a redstone torch on it. Actually, you can see it right there. And that powers this dropper, causing a clock effect. 
so the arrows will keep dispensing out. Dis dispensing, I guess it's right. Okay, so yeah, I'll cut to a. Well, actually, no. I'll just show you how to build it right here. So, what you need is a building block. I'm not actually sure how much of each you need. I'll go and find that out and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, so, I got the necessary materials. I'm gonna say I'm gonna need about 32 of a building block. I'm not quite sure, I'm just guessing with this. Um, but I know you need 24 redstone, 3 redstone torches, a dropper, 5 dispensers, a pressure plate, 4 redstone repeaters, a sticky piston, and that, that's it. Um, so I'm just gonna build a pillar so I can build this off the ground. Okay. I'm not actually sure how I built this. So we'll be checking back here a while. I don't know what that is. Um, let's build a 3 by 2 area here. With... I'm coming off this way. Put one repeater with four ticks here. And another repeater with four ticks here. Redstone going like that. Redstone there. And then... Place... Sticky piston there. And... Long, like it's out. Four. Okay. And then put this out so four, to four. And then put a block there, and you're done with that level. Level. Now, for this level, you can put a torch there. Uh, white. What is... Oh, okay. See what I did there. Drink, drink, drink. Sticky piston goes here. Okay. So now, what you want to do is basically just want to cover this whole thing up. You don't need to place a block there. And for this, what you need to do, you need to put redstone across here, redstone repeater here, because if you put dust there, it would get powered by this torch. And this repeater is on one delay, I think. Yeah. One delay. Or like no clicks on it and then you put another repeater here on four delay okay um wow I'm not prepared for this um let's see okay so now I guess you don't need these blocks or this one, or this one, or this one. Okay. So now what you need to do, you need to place two blocks right there, a block up there, a diagonal to it, place a redstone torch there, and two redstone there. Okay. Um. Okay, now. To the pretty easy part. 
So right there, what we just made is basically the mono stable circuit. Oh wait, wait, wait. I need to put a torch there. Okay, so we've used up our threads and torches and our sticky piston and all four of our repeaters. Okay, now what you need to do is you put your dropper face up and shift click a pressure plate onto it. Yeah. Okay. And then put oh, your dispensers right there. Oh, you know, right there, right there. Um, here I'm just gonna break this. It's getting in the way. Um. Put another dispenser there, and two other dispensers there, so it makes this kind of small nether portal-y look. Then put a pressure plate here, and have the building block come off this, or this bottom dispenser two blocks out put redstone on both of those put redstone this repeater here or no dispenser here put it on this dispenser and then you just put your redstone there and it should be working so I'll just put these in here for now Get iron door, why not? Put it there. Okay, now test this working. Um actually I'm just gonna put this right there for now. That'll be the ground block that you walk onto. And you might want to do that. And that doesn't change any redstone. So wait, 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 wait. I did that wrong. Sorry. It actually does change redstone. Um, actually, what you need to do is put this here and go like that. There we go. Now, that doesn't change the amounts or anything, it just makes it so you can have backing to it. And then now, to test it, I'll get redstone, dropper, dispenser, pressure plate, an iron brick, and an iron door to go in here, and the redstone will pop out because of that clock at the bottom. And now because of that piston at the bottom, you can just walk off. and the redstone will stop ticking. So like, say you only wanted 10 redstone. You could walk off right there. Oh, I got, I got 13. But you know, you could just walk off and there are still nine redstone left in here. So there's a nice little design. It's not the most compacted it could be. And you could save a lot of blocks and like redstone with it, but there's a little prototype of it. And so, yeah, I hope this helped, Generic B. See ya.